what's going on coach, it's Lucas. And in today's video, we're answering the question of should you or should you not offer a free coaching call? This question comes from Jason. Jason asks, should you offer a free coaching session to a potential client before asking them to commit straight out of the gate? And I'm just gonna spoil this entire video and you're probably not gonna watch the rest of it because I'm just gonna answer it right away of no, you don't wanna offer a free coaching call. Now stick around because I'll tell you why. I think the why is really important so we understand why not to. But don't get me wrong with, you wanna deliver value before. I'm all about delivering value before you actually ask for commitment. So don't get don't get it twisted that I'm, I'm not against the idea of giving f value and I'm not even against the idea of getting on a phone call with somebody, but you don't wanna do a free coaching session. And here's why, number one, we don't value what is free. We know that because we work hard, 12, 14, 18 hours a day, slaving away to buy something like a car or a purse or a pair of shoes, and I'm just being general here, but we, we work hard to get something we want, but then our own things like our mind or our body are usually the most neglected pieces of equipment that we own because they were given us for free. We don't appreciate what's free. If you're giving something for free, you don't appreciate it. You haven't worked for it. And I'm sure at some point in all of our lives, we were given something and it sat around. Someone gave us a book that could change a life and it sat around. But if we worked or we walked six blocks to get that book and we brought it home and we paid for it, uh, we appreciate what we pay for. So that's why you don't wanna give a free session out, not because it's gonna go against anything you do, but it's not valuable to the client. If I, if, if I got on calls with everyone who asked for my time and I was just like, yeah, let's do it, and I gave them everything I know and I was like, build this funnel and it's gonna look exactly like this, probably almost nobody will take action on it. I give out so much free value and I wonder how many people actually take it and apply it. Podcasts every two weeks, videos, I give out a lot of free stuff. If I was to give my actual time, nobody, not, not very few would actually uh, use it and I know that because I used to. I used to get on the phone and actually help people and I check up in two weeks and it didn't do anything. So that's why you don't wanna do it, we don't value what is free. The second reason why you don't wanna do it, and this again is not good for your client, is when you get on a phone call and you give a free coaching session, they're coming to you in pain, they need a solution to the problems, and they've been probably trying this for a few years but they're stuck, no matter what niche you're in, and you get on a phone call with them, and you for one hour give your best and you do a free coaching call, they're gonna leave having no reason to buy from you. And we're not doing this to sell somebody, but what's gonna happen is they're gonna feel like they have tools and knowledge to try to do it on their own. And then in two weeks, they're still gonna get stuck and it might take them a few months to actually build the courage back up to reach out again. So you don't wanna, you don't want to help someone through something temporarily. We all know it takes three months, six months to make a massive change, no matter what niche or what space you're in. It's going to take time to make a change. And if you give them an instant hit of gratification and give them a free coaching call, no matter how amazing that coaching call is, chances are they're not going to feel a need to actually get more help. They're going to try to do it on their own. And then they're going to come back after a few months and they're still where they were. So that's why you don't want to do that. And finally, the third thing is you're limited on your time. Like just from a business perspective or from your coaching business side of things, you don't have unlimited time. So to give hour long coaching calls to anyone and everyone who wants one is detracts A, from your positioning, B, it doesn't make you look like an expert at all because there's unlimited supply of what you have. So there's no supply and demand. There's no de people, it, it's not like it's anything special. You're just giving it away for free. You've got to value your time. You're good at what you do. You've spent years crafting your skills. You've spent, you know, how, however long to build your business or to actually take your skills. You took the courage, you took the plunge to build a business and now you're giving stuff away for free. So be really careful with that. Now what I am all about is leveraging yourself and giving value first through leverage. The reason I create these videos is because I love helping anyone and everyone whether they're paying me or not. I'll create videos, I create free courses, I create a lot of you know free master classes and anything that I can put out there and leverage myself and give value, 100% for, and I'll help 99% of people for free and the 1% of action takers who are like, I want help and I wanna get there quicker, reach out, they work with me and they pay me. Really, really simple. If you're not in that phase yet, then I'm all, I'm all about a discovery call or getting on a phone with someone for 15 or 30 minutes, but not doing a free coaching call, but a discovery call, strategy call, clarity call of is this a perfect fit? And you're gonna, you're gonna be in charge of the call and you're gonna break it down in a very simple rapport building. Hey, what's up, what's going on? Let's build some rapport, awesome, who are you, what's going on? What are your three things you're struggling with? 
and then you're gonna give a prescription and you're gonna say, do you want help with this? I'm oversimplifying it, of course, and I still do this for my VIP 101 coaching program. I wanna get on a call with everyone because I wanna make sure it's a perfect fit. It's a 15 minute call, they're pre-qualified, they go through an application process, and if they're a perfect fit, we get on a call and we go from there to see what's next. I'm all about that and I think we all should get on a call before making a big purchase and a big life-changing purchase. Uh, get on a call and actually talk to someone. Don't just take that face value that they have what they have. I'm all for it. Uh, for the Coaches University, there's an application process and if you choose and if you still have questions, you can get on a 15-minute call and ask questions all about that. Doing an hour free long coaching call, highly recommend not doing it and I only know that because I offered that up for a really long time and I wondered why no one was buying anything, no one respected my time, no one saw value in what it is I do because I was giving away for free. So be really careful with that. That would be my reasons for you not to offer a free coaching call. Truly hope that helps you, Jason, and anyone else watching this video. If you want more free stuff, again, I'm all about value, check out the podcast, lucasrubix.com slash podcast. There are some wicked online coaching business building episodes on there. All of these videos come from either questions inside the online Facebook community, free Facebook group for coaches, or through DMs on Instagram. And if you're looking for paid, if you wanna get there quicker, check out the Coaches University and the VIP one-on-one -on -one coaching program. There's an application for both programs, and yes, we can get on a quick 50-minute chat, make sure it's a perfect fit for you. More information on that, lucasrubix.com, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.